everyone, so today I'm back with another writing video. Like I say in every single one of these writing videos, I totally love them and I love figuring out new tips. And so in this video, I'm going to share some do's and don'ts and my advice when it comes to writing the first chapter and the last chapter of a novel. What I want to say right at the beginning is that I don't really like writing rules and, you know, I don't like the whole, like, concept of saying like don't do this like don't write prologues or don't do this in the first chapter don't do this in your book and blah 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 blah. I don't like that because we write books because the possibilities are endless you know and I think that every writer should just decide what's best for their own book and what they like the most what works the most and all that stuff but still I just, you know, there are some tips that are really helpful and just advice that really works for most people and just things that usually don't really work out and things that usually do work out. So I just want to share some stuff like that with you and just give you my advice what I think is best but still really like trust your instincts and do whatever you want to do with your book because it's your book and just no rules apply to you. If you just want to break the rules, then break the rules. But anyway, I want to give you some advice, so let's jump right into it. So when it comes to the first chapter, some of the don'ts that are very often said, and I actually kind of agree with that, is number one, a typical thing is don't write prologues. There are super famous successful books with prologues, and sure, there are still quite a lot of books with prologues, but it's like... What you want in the first chapter, which I'm going to talk about, is to catch the reader's attention. That's your main goal, and in the prologues they tend to be very, like, boring, and they maybe give you, like, the background, but that's just not what you want to hear right at the beginning. So just, prologues are usually a big don't. Sure, again, if it works for your story, and if you really want it, then just write it but really think if you want to write it there then really like think about it and think about how you want to write it and if it really works and if it's really important number two is don't start slow again the main goal with the first chapter is to really catch the reader's attention because you want them to crave for more you want them to like read the first sentence and be like oh my gosh i want to know more i want to know what this is about this looks super cool and i just i'm like already interested in knowing what the story is about and everything like that when it starts slow like you know it tends to be boring for the readers and i know that for myself i always love and appreciate when it starts really fast and when I'm immediately really into reading it I keep turning the pages and it's like I just want to keep reading it and I can't stop but very often books don't have that. It often happens to me that I just read a book and like the first chapter or the first few chapters are like very slow paced and nothing much is happening but really try to make it active and try to make it just really interesting since the beginning and really just don't try to just like you know like dive in slowly just jump into the story and i'm i assure you it's gonna the readers are gonna definitely prefer it like again if it works for your story blah 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 then you can do it however you want but i feel like just a fast-paced beginning is always better because it really catches the uh characters the reader's attention. The last don't that I have is just my personal thing but it's often also said and I really don't like it and it's just I really advise you not to start with a dream because the thing you want to do with the first chapter isn't only to get the reader's attention, you also want to show in the first chapter what the book will be about. It should show what the entire book will look like and you know if you just start with a dream it's like you don't share the the story exactly how it is for example if it's something fantasy like in the dream then like the reader is gonna think okay this is gonna be a fantasy it's gonna be about that but then if the dream is completely like different than the actual plot of the book it's gonna be like what the heck and just it could be really confusing and sure you can have dreams in the book but I really don't think it's a good idea for the first chapter like I really do not advise that I actually don't know if I've read a book like that I don't think it's a good idea, like, it's my opinion, but I really don't think it would work. And then, of course, there are ad other don'ts, like, specific things, like, don't start with a description of weather or waking up or things like that. But I really don't mind these beginnings in books because I feel like a lot of those work 
really well. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that, but there's just a ton of lists on Pinterest on that, so yeah. <laughs> but moving on to the do's and things that I think really work in first tra chapters. And the main thing I'm gonna say is <laughs> really try to focus on the first sentence and the first page. I know that writing the first chapter is like the hardest thing ever. Like I try to write it first, obviously a lot of people do I think. And then, you know, you don't know the story that well, you don't know the characters that well, you haven't spent that much time with it yet, and you don't really, you know, like, you, you're not really just close to the book yet. And it really makes it hard because just in general, first chapters are hard, but it's like when you don't know the story much yet and you're like getting started, it's always just really freaking difficult. But it's seriously, spending time on the first chapter is gonna be so worth it, because if you, if you make it good, then it's just people are gonna notice it like you know it could be absolutely incredible like from the third chapter and on but people always see the first chapter first i know no pressure right like <laughs> yeah but like it's seriously spending time on it will be worth it like it's hard as fuck but like it will be worth it. Just the books with great beginnings, I noticed them. And sure, I've read books with not really that good beginnings that I was just like, meh. But then I just got into it and I loved the book anyway and stuff like that. But just like, if you start with something epic, something like absolutely breathtaking and like, what the heck, then the reader's gonna be like, oh my gosh, I wanna know more. Like for example, Magnus Chase starts with a main character dying and that's I think the first sentence like I just died you know and that really gets your attention so really try to make the first sentence and the first page like something totally like what and just start with something kind of like climactic or you know like something that's just already has some tension in it and just some action and stuff like that and really don't try to start slow like with description and stuff like that because it should it could bore a lot of people just really start like actively and show the nature of your book i don't really have that many specific things for the last chapter i feel like just with the last chapter rules are much harder to like create a bit uh, compared to the first chapter because for the last chapter it's like it depends on the books on the specific book so much that it's like you know, like there can't really be any rules because it's just super different. The last chapter is really just entirely up to you. Rules are not really necessary that much because like the reader will first see the first chapter, but I, for me, like the last chapters are always the ones that either take my breath away or I'm just like, nah. and often people say that like the last thing is the most important in the sense that, you know, it will have the biggest impact on the reader, which is what I, which is what I want to tell you, and that is, in the last chapter, you want to have as much impact on the reader as possible. Because this is really gonna make them remember that book, and it's really just gonna be like, you know, and that depends on your preferences. It can end in hope. It can be a totally, like, hopeful ending, you know, with just something positive, like a positive message, inspirational kind of stuff. Or it can be just total heartbreak, like someone's death, or just something absolutely devastating. And if you just want to totally, like, do you know, ruin the reader's life, then go ahead and do that. Or, you know, if it's a series, it can be a total cliffhanger, which of course is the best thing to do. If it's a series, then you want something totally shocking and like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen next? I want to know that now, you know? But just like, if it's only a standalone, then I really suggest you to write the last chapter in the way that you just want the reader to remember it and like some end it with something that's really gonna create a mark on the reader's heart. I love when books have a strong impact on me like that and you know if it's just a book about like a certain message I really love when the last chapter really like makes that message stand out and I really like just very good hopeful or even like heartbreaking in that like you know just endings like that that really just touch me so much and even if it breaks my heart I just know that I will forever remember that book and love it and it really depends on your preferences but what I strongly advise you just try to make an impact on the reader in the way that you want to have the impact 
like it depends completely up it's just up to you but like I really think this is just something that will make everyone remember it that's the advice I have for this it wasn't very like practical I feel like but I just wanted to share my advice and if you have any writing video requests or anything even on this topic I know I didn't I could have said much more there is just so much to this like it's a very complex world, you know, the writing world, so there's always so much to say, but yeah. Yeah, so if you have any video requests, so let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my writing videos, I adore making them. And yeah, write on. <laughs> have a brilliant day and see you in the next video. Bye!